I'm going to talk about the management of an acute immediate release paracetamol overdose. I'm going to be focusing on the 2019 Australia and New Zealand guidelines. I like these guidelines because they use the new two bag regimen of n acetylcysteine and I think there will be a wider adoption of this new regimen in other countries. The first thing to remember is that if you're in the first two hours after an ingestion, you should offer your patient activated charcoal. If you see your patient who's taken a paracetamol overdose in the first eight hours after ingestion, you should measure their paracetamol levels in the blood at least four hours after ingestion, and then you should plot it on this treatment nomogram. This nomogram essentially plots paracetamol concentration against the hours after ingestion. And do note that there are two different units that paracetamol concentrations are measured in, so make sure you've got the right one. The red line is essentially a threshold which defines whether patients will need N-acetylcysteine or not. So if your concentration is above the line, then you should receive NAG. If your concentration is below the line, then you probably don't need NAG. So if you plot your concentration and it comes up here, like in this graph, then you should start N-acetylcysteine as soon as possible. If you plot your concentration and it comes up below the line, then you don't need to give your patient NAG, with the slight caveat that if you're very close to the line, it may be worth giving NAC anyway, because sometimes the time of ingestion is not a... 100% certain fact. Now, if you see a patient who presents more than eight hours after their ingestion of paracetamol, you should not be waiting for paracetamol levels. You should start NAC immediately, and then you can then send your level and stop it if the paracetamol level comes back below the line of the treatment nomogram. The other thing to bear in mind is that you can give higher doses of NAC. So for example, if your paracetamol concentration comes back more than double the line on the treatment nomogram, then you should double the strength of the NAC in the second bag in the two bag regimen. Then two hours before the end of your NAC, you should check the liver function test, in particular the ALT, and you may need to repeat the second bag of NAC at whatever strength you were giving it at if the ALT is greater than 50 and rising. So if it's either falling or less than 50, then you don't need further NAC after the second bag. Now, if the paracetamol level had been double the nomogram line, you also have to recheck the paracetamol level before the end of the second bag and continue NAC if the level is still higher than 10 milligrams per litre. 